complex and behind me is £17 million worth of building work starting. This is our new surgical and medical uh, wing which is going to provide uh, beds in place of beds that we've got in old wards. Um, theatres um, and um, general areas for us to be able to treat our unscheduled care or emergency patients. We're very pleased to have initiated this major development on our site which will be due to open in the summer of 2016. And whilst we're very proud about this, I do recognise that there will be some disruption for our local neighbours who will have supplies vehicles and building contractors vehicles coming past and into the hospital site more regularly. I do appreciate this might cause some disruption and please let us know if there's anything we can do about that. There is a hospital mortality index called SHIMI which is a nationally recognised index that um, says what would be the expected numbers of deaths of an organisation covering a population of our type and size. And so it takes into account our population's age, sex and the diagnosis of patients when they come to us. Within the shimmy, I'm really pleased to say that we've got a very low score. 100 is the national average score of organisations and we're at 91. Um, and that is the lowest score of any organisation in Greater Manchester. This is very much in line with our work around improving seven day working, 365 days of the year and is a testament to the care that is being delivered by all of our staff and it actually measures mortality 30 days of discharge from the hospital. The organisation continues to work on transformation projects and one of those is in outpatients where we're specifically looking at how we can improve the uh, wait time for follow-up patients in four areas cardiology, ophthalmology, respiratory and gastroenterology. Um, and uh, that's good news for the patients because if you're waiting for a follow-up and feel that you have been waiting a long time, I hope that we will be contacting you shortly as we're putting on additional capacity to see those patients. Another area where we're looking to improve the waiting time for patients is around what the government calls the referral to treatment standard. We have a standard of 18 weeks maximum in which to see uh, patients referred from their GP to us before we actually initiate some form of care. And um, that is not a 100% standard and as a result of that, there are patients who are seen beyond 18 weeks. Now, sometimes that's a patient's choice and that's absolutely right. But sometimes it will have been because we've had higher numbers of patients maybe being referred at a certain time. So what we're doing is we're actually putting on additional work to be able to see more patients who have been waiting that very long length of time. It does mean, however, that we will actually breach the standard. Um, but that's good news for the patients and it's something that nationally there has been uh, an improvement um, directive to reduce the numbers of patients waiting in what we call the backlog. So again that's good news for you and your families if you are involved uh, and I can assure you that we will continue to provide the fastest best care to you at all times. We've been talking on these podcasts about our standard of care for accident and emergency for a long time now. And as you know, 95% of patients are to be seen and treated and discharged or admitted uh, within four hours of attending accident and emergency. That's something that we've been struggling with, but as I have said on the previous podcast, um, we're now seeing an improvement in this area. And I'm delighted to be able to tell you that we continue to be meeting this standard on most occasions, which is excellent news for patients, but is a real fillip to all of the staff 
who were working so hard within the organisation to improve the care to patients. Anybody who has been either in our outpatient departments or as an inpatient or in accident emergency will know that we've been asking you to help us with completing a friends and family test. Um, I have heard people say, well, why should I take part in this sort of almost political spin? It's because it matters to us. Um, because the comments that you can make, and you're allowed to actually add comments, are really important to ensuring that we understand what your care needs are and what you're looking for. So I would ask that if you're asked to fill in one of these questionnaires, you do so. It will take all of two to three minutes, and I'm sure that any of our staff would be happy to help you with that, but uh, many of you will be asked to do this after you've left the hospital. Uh, so please do take part in that. We had 93% of patients who completed the uh, questionnaire saying they were either likely or extremely likely to recommend our services to others. So it's something that matters to us that we want to make a difference on. So please complete. I was so proud to see Jill Clark our lead nurse in gynaecology services uh, receiving her OBE from the Queen. Uh, we've got a lovely photo of her uh, at Buckingham Palace. She went with her husband and her son and had a delightful day I'm told. She looked very smart and she was there representing Stockport. I think if you cut Jill open she would have either or Stepping Hill and Patience all the way through her. She's been here as an exemplar nurse for many years and we're truly proud of her achievement there. Another award went to the Bowel Cancer Care Team. Um, they won a very prestigious award with the Nursing Times. Um, and that was for the care they're giving, especially to patients who have had some form of spinal cord injury, who have specific issues around continence. And this was a real team effort, including nursing, specialist and general nursing, medical staff, therapists and many others, to really make the care for this vulnerable group of patients really top class. Special thanks also go to Janet Robinson and Jean Wood, who have both separately won awards within the Great British Northwest Care Awards for healthcare in the community. Uh, both of them provide exemplar care as team leaders and as individuals, and I want to thank uh, both of them for continuing to provide the very best for their community.